So we're about to do the Powers Peak hike, five miles one way, and uh, elevation of, what is it, 3,064 feet? Yeah. And it yeah. is 753. Yeah, peaks up there behind, behind the one in front of us. So that is Powers Peak, but I guess we have to go around to the back side and then climb up it. makes sense because there's a lot of rock faces on this side. Lots of uh, butterflies around. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, they, they would notice the pressure would be different if that was burst. I think that's probably just extra extra because there's so much snow. But that's just kind of weird that it's not like you know what I mean. Yeah. Get away, B. Canal Creek. It's definitely pretty warm. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty warm. Oh yeah. Yeah, me too. Pretty exposed out here. I'd hate to do this in hotter weather. <laughs> How you doing, Susanna? Great, John. You know what? <laughs> I'm very glad that I didn't, de didn't do my conditioning hike, so this is what happens. Yeah, well, it'll pay I off in the it. end. <laughs> yeah, so, but slow and steady, which is good. That's right. Thank you for waiting. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Alright, that's the hard part. <laughs> We're on our final ascent. Oh, I'm so glad these boots have really good tread. Oh yeah, mine do too. Oh man, they've got a really aggressive tread and you know what? It really came in handy just now. <laughs> yeah. Especially when there's like a little bit of sand or gravel on top of the hard surface, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I felt it give slightly, but it held on. I was really impressed. Yeah, these shoes are horrible. They call them trail runners, but really I wear them to the gym only. Yeah, so the peak. He's over here. Yeah, so we're gonna dip down this little valley first. I made it to the top. First one up. Hello. Okay, now I'm actually at the peak. 
That wasn't quite the peak, I just assumed because of the, of the little structure. You can see the lake out there. And there's also a register over here. And I am hungry, I'm so ready for my uh, deviled ham sandwiches. So my camera malfunctioned on the way up. Uh, had a lens error and wouldn't retract or work. So I just put it in my backpack for a while. When I got up to almost the top, I tested it again and it worked. If you're so great on, on the way here coming down that you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> so I fall in behind, I stopped to use the bathroom, get a little water and they're both ahead of me now. But it's been a good hike. Uh, definitely a moderate trail with a section of hard, but uh, there's you know over 3,000 feet elevation gain, so that was probably more of uh, the, the challenge overall. It's definitely a warm day. Definitely wouldn't want to do this when it gets hot. But I've been I've been. Enjoying it. There's actually a few flowers out. It's been nice. And yes, I'm protecting my face with my buff from the sun. It's nice and windy right now, or breezy anyway. We've been seeing some fighters go over. Just saw a pair of falcons and earlier. So on F-22. Sally didn't get that on film, but oh, that was cool. I don't think I've ever seen one just randomly like that before. I saw what I think F-15s. And... More flowers have come out since this morning. That breeze feels so wonderful though. blister problems. It wasn't all that hard of a hike, except for the last part. Um, yeah, the breeze has been real nice. The company was real nice. It's a pleasure to hike with Norman for the first time. And uh, next week I plan to do the Democrat Dam hike, which is eight miles round trip. I think it's round trip. And uh, yeah, 